Hi, I'm Joan. I'm going to show you how to read on the bass staff. For the piano, you play the notes in the bass staff with the left hand. The bass staff has five lines and four spaces. Now the, ba the bass clef looks like this right here. And the bass staff is this right here. It has all the lines and the spaces together. And there are two ways to remember the lines and spaces of the bass staff. And I'm going to show you both. Now, first of all, there's the old method of remember the lines of spaces. We say the lines and spaces from the bottom to the top. So we've got this bottom line right here, G. The next line up is B. The middle line is D. The next line up is F. And the top line is A. And for the spaces, we've got this bottom space is A. The next space is C. This space right here is E. And the top space is G. So one of the old methods to remembering the lines of spaces is GBDFA, which is good boys do find always. And then for the spaces, you've got all cows eat grass. So those were the two ways to remember that. Now there is a completely different way to remember the lines and the spaces. It's called the C method. I did a previous video where I showed how to read on the treble staff with every good boy does fine face and the C method just for the treble staff. And today we're going to tie it all together. So we already know where middle C is. Middle C is written on the ledger line in between the Trouble staff and the base staff. So let me pull this one down real quick. Okay, so the C method. You've got middle C right here in between the two staffs. And you've got the second line to the top, the second space to the top rather, right here is C. And then two ledger lines above the treble staff is high C. Now, if you take a look at the bass staff, you've got second space to the bottom is C. Two ledger lines below the bass staff is low C. So you've got C, the second space to the top, C. Two ledger lines above the treble staff, C. Second space to the bottom C, two ledger lines below the base staff C. So you've got C, 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 and then C, C, C. So that's one way of doing it. If you wish to find F, you could find the uh, middle C right here and count back to F. So you could say middle C, then you've got this space right here, which would be B, this top line A, this space right here, G, and then you've got F. Or you could say, well, base staff, I know that the second space uh, from the bottom is C. So you go C, D, E, F, and there you have it. So the goal is to memorize your lines and spaces so that you will be able to play them by sight if you memorize the EGBDF, every good boy does find FACE face, or in the GBDFA and ACEG, great. If you can do that, that is wonderful. If you use the C method and that makes more sense to you, great, whatever works. So that's all that I have for today. I hope this helps you. If this has helped you, just click the like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon.